Hi Scorpio, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This is your July Love Reading Scorpio, okay? And uh, we're going to draw six cards initially. The first three are going to relate directly to you and the second three cards are going to relate directly to either the person that's coming into your life or the situation that's going to be around you, okay? Um, I'll then pull um, our supporting cards as we go and some outcome cards as well. Okay, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and click on the little bell below because your um, bi-weekly general reading Scorpio are going to be coming up within the next seven, seven days. Um, I'm also going to be doing some additional love readings for each of the zodiac signs um, in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, I'm going to do two love readings per month now because that seems to be what people want. So yeah, your additional love reading will be coming in the middle of the month. So if you haven't already, subscribe and click the little bell. Okay, so let's see what's coming out. So I've been shuffling as I always do and preparing for your reading as I always do before I start recording. And there's been a quite a lot of, in case you want to see what that one is, it's of cups. Um, and there's been quite a lot of different things that want to come out for you. So let's see who's going to win out, um, whose energy is going to win out today. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look. We are ready. So these are three cards for you. Representing you, Scorpio. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we've got the King of Cups. We've got the Ace of Cups. And we've got the King of Swords. And then these are right. And these are your energy excuse me, the energy of the person or people around you um, or the situations around you in the month of July. Okay, so it's actually, this card wants to come out. This keeps happening and it wants to be the first card out. So it's the magician and this one wants to come out as well. What's this one? King of Pentacles. Boom. Well, you're doing all right, aren't you, love? I might want to be a Scorpio this month, actually. These are decent cards, actually, to be fair for you, Scorpio. Very good cards. Um, you know, we've got your element. We've got water here with the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. But let's, first of all, look at the Magician. Okay, I love this card. I mean, this is a card of manifesting. And not only manifesting, it's a card of it's a card of you already having within, within, your, um, within your purview, if you will, to manifest whatever it is it is you want in love in July. And some of you are working together with somebody to do that. This could be your energy or a person or people coming towards you. You seem to be there seems to be a lot of people around you, Scorpio though. We've got the King of Cups, we've got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So that's a lot of um of of, of different people coming to, coming towards you. I, I can't remember off the top of off the top of my head what three kings mean. So if someone can remember, I'll I'll put it in the description anyway, probably. Uh, but if I don't, someone else. Um, obviously it's in a book I've got somewhere. Um, but yeah, this could be obviously it could be a lot of competition. Um, you could have a lot of you could have different suitors. Um, you could have your ex. You could have someone new. You could have someone from work. You know, someone from so your boss, for example. Um. And it seems that someone wants to work with you for sure this month, Scorpio, to build a solid relationship, okay? That's what the King of Pentacles along with the Magician represents. So that's two energy. That's that's your... It, it, to be fair, it could be just your energy. It could be you saying, I want a, a solid relationship for myself um going forward into the into my future and i'm going to do what it what it takes for me to get that you're obviously seeming seemingly in a good place because this is your this is meant to be your energy so seemingly you are in a good place this month okay let's have a look at your first um card that came up for you that was the king of cups okay now the king of cups is a master of his emotions the king of male female doesn't matter he's a master of, of his emotions and it's someone who has um you know learnt to feel um even if it is only inwardly now the thing about the king of cups is he is a master master of his emotions so he can keep those hidden and that means i'm talking to you cancer okay excuse me scorpio um i just said cancer then so I don't, i've just done their reading so maybe you want some of you are dating a cancer maybe um but yeah it's as if with the king of cups it's as if we sometimes we can hide not hi not like not hide how we feel but just really not 
blurt it out and not be sort of intense about it. So it's about, I say that the river runs deep with, with, with the King of Cups, you know? It's, it's a lot of emotion, but it might not be readily shared. Not because they're trying to be manipulative or because you're trying to be manipulative or sly. Not, for no reason, other, no reason like that at all. It's simply because you, you know, there could, there's a sense with the King of Cups that there's been hurt in the past. I mean, who hasn't been hurt in the past in relationships? But there's a sense that that is why there's a stoicism um, connected to the King of Cups. We're a master of their emotions, but there is a stoicism about, about this card and about the energy of the King of Cups. But then we get the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups is almost, in some ways, the opposite of the King of Cups because it's about... Uh, it's about overwhelmingly um, intense, um, abundant emotion and feeling of love, of, of, of beauty, of, of, of joy that you feel towards somebody else. And you might just be feeling that about yourself, Scorpio. You might just be really feeling yourself. You might have just really learnt to love yourself. And, you know, that's the best way to, to, to go into a relationship for those of us that are single. Um, and it's the best way to be in a relationship. You know, being in a relationship is about how, you know, if you love yourself, then you will demand that from somebody else and vice versa. Like you want it to be even and you want it to be balanced. And the only way we can have that is when we are ex able to express how we feel openly, um, regardless how intense it feels, you know. So there's a there's a, like a, a bit of a uh not conflict within you scorpio but there's you know there's two sides that want that's want that that um <laughs> there's two sides sort of of you um this this month scorpio there's this side of you 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 are in in love and you feel excited about this love and you feel you know really really happy and you know joyful about this love but you don't, you're trying to be like, oh, do you know what? You, how I would say it, how we would say it, me and my friends, is you're playing it cool. You're like, you're trying to like, you're trying to like, do you know what? Like, let's not get too carried away. Like, we know what's happened in the past. So let's just try to keep it, you know, keep it chilled, keep it chilled. But the advice really is you don't really need to be, you know. I mean, I've not even seen these cards yet. I don't know who this person is or the situation is. I don't know, but I'm hoping for some good cards for you. But the the... the really the advice for you and, and really the, the 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 mantle that you need to that, that you need to um take up this month in july scorpio is about honesty you know the king of sword he's earned his sword you know he's earned you know you've earned the right to speak your truth S scorpio you know it feels really balanced your energy actually scorpio it feels really balanced and i was concerned while i was shuffling because there were so many different scenarios wanting to come out i was concerned thinking oh my gosh does this mean that we're going to be they're going to be scattered in their energy and it could have been that you have that you've come into july with um a scattered energy and with sort of you know uncertainty or um you know lacking certain clarity but it, but it's as if that's not about you it's like there's maybe been other things other people around you um and and you know what not even like your relationships like for example you know you're sing let's say this is as, as an example of what i mean you know you're single and your best friend is in a relationship okay and your best friend has been having trouble with her partner or his partner for like months and every time you have a conversation she's bad mouthing her partner or his partner to you going oh my god they're an absolute idiot oh my god like don't never get into a relationship again babe da, 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 da. and they're telling you all this stuff and it kind of like kind of like put you off and like you ask your friend about if you know you've met someone and you say to your friend oh you know what do you think about what if it's me so i'm a girl so i'll be like oh what do you think about him babe what do you think about him and it's like my friend going oh i don't know babe do you know what i mean like oh you don't want to get involved with that and it's like you've had like this influence of other people like around you um like getting in getting spoiling it for you spoiling your feelings of joy and love and and happiness and and you know, you, you cut, cut that out. Cut that out this month in July because it's, it's, it's unnecessary. And if, and if your bestie is in a bad relationship that she that he or she doesn't want to be in, you know, tell them to bore someone else with a 
blooming problems if they ain't gonna listen to your advice which they haven't listened to the year advice for the last six months and they just keep coming and being a mood hoover i'm speaking to excuse me mood hoover that's what me and my friend call it so we drained you do you know what i'm saying but um i i'm speaking to i'm probably speaking to someone very specific there you have to comment and let me know because sometimes i get off sometimes uh some energy pulls me and I just go with the energy. So this is the energy that's around you, okay? So we've got the seven of wands, we've got the 10 of wands, and we've got the world card, okay? So these are the energies of the, of the situations or the, the, the people or situations around you. Now, it's nice that the universe gave us the king, three, the, the, the gave us three kings and an ace actually, and a magician, because these, this is, this is, um, this is you, how you're going to be feeling this 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 month in July, but it's also su suggestive of someone else coming in. I'm gonna. I need to clarify um, the the ten of. I need to clarify the ten of ones before I make any before I say anything else. You know, there we go. Okay, so that's the five of of ones. So it's the end of a relationship. Okay, so. I'm going to shuffle them again because one more wants to come out, but I don't want to have seen it. And it's, let's, okay, so that's the, okay. So before we get started, I'm going to come to these. I'm going to come to these ones first, okay? So we've got the, uh, the excuse me, the seven of wands. So Scorpio, some of you have really been dealing with, um, with somebody, with people. Just bear with me a second. Just let me just listen okay so <laughs> i'm sorry i have to say the words that came into my head and thoughts and minds and it's got a bit of swearing in it this person is an absolute knobhead now a knobhead <laughs> for all those American viewers, um, it's it's not a nice thing. <laughs> it's what we call the male member, shall we say? So um, when you have the uh, seven, this person's a, a knobhead. <laughs> this is your ex. This is your ex. This is your ex, um, Scorpio. This person's such a knob. I'm sorry. That's the words that just keep coming out. This person is um, just confrontational for no reason like this person just is they struggle with their own self-esteem that's what it is they are they are they they struggle with their self-esteem um that person the seven of, of the the fight you know, it could be a fire sign i'm they, all over the place these cards um could be a fire sign obviously your side that you're dealing with or that you've been dealing with or that your ex was about you know um this is someone that's standing their ground um they potentially want a new start with you because to clarify this, to clarify this um, seven of wands, excuse me, sevens are a challenge. I need to explain what the card means. I've not even ex explained, have I? Um, because it's coming through intuitively, so it, I get a bit carried away when that happens. Okay. Sevens are about challenge. They're about, uh, they're about a, a, a personal challenge that we have to overcome. And it's really a path that we must walk alone. So for the person or the situation around you, it could be that they are... Um, going forth by themselves you know they, they, they're going they're sticking by what it is they want that might be they want to be with you or they want to be with someone else um or it could be you it could be you this could be your energy you know this could be the situation that's around you so if that is the case it is suggestive of um there might have been a standoff with somebody that you have been were romantically linked to you know it wasn't a solid relationship but it may have been in the past but you haven't it's not about not having contact with each other but it's not it's about not having compassionate contact with each other romantic contact with each other um and this person's been a bit a little bit stubborn with you and not really wanted to go through um a process of give and take you apply the scenarios as they come, okay, as they apply to your life, okay? But it could suggest if with the two of wands here that there's a there's a new door opening for for, for this person for this in this situation. Suggestive that um there's actually travel to, actually there's actually quite a bit of travel suggested in this in this reading to be fair. 
you know you could be taking a trip with someone scorpio it is holiday season you know you could be um there's like a change of someone's mind like someone has um realized that they maybe do want a relationship with you um they've done some soul search with the two of with the two of um with the two of wands you know there's been some soul searching done with the hermit card um nines are again about challenges but they're more karmic these ones and um, when we get the nine and um, we get a hermit energy this is this is um this is these are things that you've repeated or this person's repeated um cycles that have repeated in the past and it's about breaking through those cycles with number nines but by doing the work by recognizing that there was a cycle in the first place so for example it could be that this person um or the situation around you um has always been one of um there's been there's you know there's not been an openness with about how people feel maybe you weren't open with them maybe they weren't open with you when we get the hermit card it's about recognizing that that's something that you've repeated in the past in other relationships same same with this other person or situation that's something that they've repeated in the past with their situation um in other relationships and it's a case of now recognizing with number nines we've already we've recognized ah that's a pattern that i've got let me try to overcome that karmic let me try to overcome that karma let me try to learn from it that's what this person's been doing so they might want a new emotional beginning with you not that you necessarily going to offer that to them really in this reading the ball as you as we would say over here the the ball is in your court and um, so that means that you really are the one um scorpio with the power if you will the power to make a decision to make a choice um and obviously vice versa it could be vice versa blah 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 okay so the next card that came up was the i'm so getting i've got three minutes left of 20 minutes yeah okay um the next person that, that excuse me the next energy that comes up is the ten of wands now one energy i've not mentioned this no i'm not one energy is all about um our life force our key our chi our energy it's about using that energy out in the world it's about um to, to to bring things into our lives you know to create things that's really what the wand energy is about now when we get the 10 um tens are an ending and a beginning so that means that the strain that has been felt by potentially the breakup of of your relationship with the um five of cups or a separation with you um or someone who was treated badly you were treated badly or the other person was treated was treated badly um the strain of this separation and this um there has been a separation it feels like actually or it feels like you've maybe some of you have been actually oh god that's the worst when you have to do that you know yeah man i'm not feeling that as an as a, as a scenario some of you have actually broken up with a partner and actually had to stay living together that's what oh god oh i feel for you babe i feel for you if you've had to, if that's been you oh what a not a nice situation to be in oh my god not a nice situation to be in at all anyway that's someone specific <laughs> um anyway you know so the tens of wands it's an ending of this energy it's an ending of so if you have been living with this person um even though you've separated that's going to be over there's going to be a brand new start a brand new world for you uh for you for, for them both for you both um, but how they've been feeling is that it's been an actually challenging situation. So your ex-partner, someone that you've broken up with or someone that you've been separated from um, because of potentially a betrayal or be because of potentially um, it's, a, it's like it, it, honesty is the word that came to mind. So either this person wasn't honest or this person was too honest. And that was something that made you feel uncomfortable. It was a little bit intense for you. You know, this maybe this person opened up to you and then Scorpio, you got panicked and ran away and said, I can't be with you. It's, it's freaking me out. Um, if that's the case, you know, that was something that really stressed this other person out and it, it, it really, you know, got them worrying and paranoid and, 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 and stressed with the nine of with the nine of um swords. Again, that's the second nine they've got in this. We've got the 
how the felt she's not been at excuse me hair which is number nine and then this nine of nine of swords so this the cycles being broken here there's this there's overcoming challenges with number nines um which is which is really good um but yeah the, there was a there's an instance of someone's either shared too much about how they feel too soon if you think that or they haven't shared enough and you, again you flip it scorpio with a vice versa it could be you or the person that you were involved with or seeing but it's as if this person do, does want a new start with you. And, and and I feel like you do. This person wants a new start and so does this person. So both sides want new beginnings, okay? Emphasised by the world card as well. Let me just... Um, I'm just the, the world card is about... It's about new beginnings. It comes after the death card energetically for me. The world card. It's... Um, a card, card 21, um, which is a number three. So it's about... This is about... Threes are about... Um, you and this other person and that energy that you create together that div divinity being you know when we open up to other people um it's it is divine you know it, it's almost it's trans transcendent it, it it raises our vibrations and this person wants a completely new start and a new beginning but we it's but it, to get to the world it's been difficult we've had to go through death we've had to go through the Ten of Wands, we've had to go through the Ten of Swords. So it's a hard, it's a hard challenge, actually. Right, let's look at some outcome cards for you then, Scorpio, okay? Let's look at some outcome cards. So I'm going to just pull, literally just um whatever I'm drawn to, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. I'm looking at the potential outcome for you. Um, This one wants to come out for sure, for sure. So there could be some waiting, but this is going to be coming by the end of the, yeah. Okay, so it is a separation for some of you. And this one wants to come out as well, so I'll pick it up. You know, it has been a separation for the people that I'm speaking to today. Um, could have been, you know, it could be, you know, an ex, a full on ex, you know, someone that you were in a proper committed relationship with and then that relationship ended. Or it could just be, um, ah, it could be a full on ex or it could just be someone that you um, never really quite had a solid relationship with. There's a huge amount of balance in this reading. Your outcome is a new, a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands. It's a, it's a gift, which means that, you know, the universe is encouraging that. Now, we don't always get what, we don't always get what the universe is encouraging. We don't always get that. But you've got the magician energy at your disposal this month, Scorpio. You've got the Ace of Cups, another Ace. Good fortune. The more races we get, the more good fortune we get. So the universe is on your side, really encouraging you and wanting you to have a new, passionate new start and take action toward the thing that you want. Okay? So this is about a card of taking action toward the thing that you want, Scorpio. So that's what you must do. Now, the Page of Swords is the spy. You know, this person is the spy. He is the stalker. He, she, doesn't matter. They are the stalker, so it could be, but it, this could be you, actually, Scorpio. This is could be you with your regrets, thinking, I, I kind of, I was too quick to dismiss him or her. I was too quick to dismiss them. You know, let me check out what they're doing on Facebook. Let me check out their social media accounts. You know, are they still with somebody? Let me ask the friends of them that I know what I can find out about that, about that person. So there could be some, there could be some of that going on, and it could be both of you, or it could be one of you. Um, this month, there's going to be some of that um energy going on this month, and on both sides potentially. You know, when we also then we've got the hanged man, and the hanged man energy is about wow. We had a well difficult time with that situation. That was really, really hard. And, you know, I know that I want to move forward and I know that I want to move on um, into something new, into a new relationship, into a new, um, into a new partnership, into a new stage in my relationship with my partner. However, I just have to sit here and just allow myself to get through and to heal from these energies before I take a, my next step forward. That's what the hang hanged man is about. It's about seeing you, it's about incorporating the learning of the past cycle, the last cycle that you've been through with this person. It's about really understanding why the situation ended previously when it did, taking responsibility that you need to take, um, and for the other person as well, the same. Okay? It's just about actually though we're moving out of this energy it's 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 this is really the end of it actually the hanged man you know when we see the hanged man you've you've already really started that process you're already going through that process of um trying to see 
the situation clearly, trying to understand the wisdom and, and see the learning that you've gained from going through that experience, okay? And then finally, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is a, you know, we've got the King of Cups and we've got the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, haven't we? Um, you know, they're all, I'll just talk about the signs that are represented because we have got fire, um, which is Aries, Leo, Sag, and we've got a lot of Cups energy as well, which is... Um, I mean, all signs are represented, water, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but then we've got the King of Pentacles there, so that's obviously suggestive of an Earth sign, particularly a Capricorn, but could be a Taurus or Virgo, and then we've got Soil, so it could be anybody really, but the Knight of Cups is bringing, we think about what the Knights do, Knights are brave, yeah, Knights want to go toward the, the, the battle, they don't want to shy away from it, they want to go toward it because they want to be victorious, so this person is, whether it's you or them Scorpio, this person is going to be brave and they're going to bring an offer of either love or an apology, that could be you, you could be apologising um, Scorpio, you could be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry I turned you down, actually I totally love you, like I really do want to try with you, and which whichever situation you are in Scorpio, whether you are the runner or the chaser, shall we say? You know, this month you have it. There's a there's 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 the energy and the impetus for a new emotional beginning. Okay, that that for you and for somebody else, um, for those people that are sort of seeing or messing or dealing with another person. If you are completely single as a Scorpio, again, there is there is a, a new start coming towards you there's a new there's new energy and, and vitality and again getting rid of that heaviness that we've ex that you've been experiencing Scorpio for the last couple of months if you have been single um so yeah if you want if you have been single th there could be a, a definitely a new start for you some some new energy new blood coming in as well okay could be related to your work because we've got the that king of pentacles here could be an ex-partner um but yeah, there's a there's a new start for, for Scorpio this this month, and I think that really you'll see actually Scorpio, a nice upward trajectory for the next um for the end toward the end of this year, your it, things are gonna start getting a little bit easier for you in the love department Scorpio um as 2008 rolls on okay so I really hope that was helpful for you Scorpio thank you so much for all your love and support make sure you come back to the channel if you've not um pressed the bell make sure you come back within the next week two weeks for your bi-weeklies and for your um additional love readings as well as the key wisdom video which is going to be this month is going to be all about um the fives okay and moving through the energy of the five of wands five of pentacles five of swords and the five of cups okay i really hope that you love that thank you so much for your love and support have a wonderful july and i'll see you soon scorpio take care bye